Loveleen Brar. I'm a fourth year and I'm majoring in international development. My name is Jordan Sly. I'm a senior astrophysics major. My name is Andrew. I'm a second year East major here at Cal. My name is Justin Knight. I am a second year. I'm majoring in Eastern Conflict Studies and Linguistics. I'm Athria. I'm a third year MCB major uh, with an emphasis in neurobiology. My name is Pranav. I am a second year engineering physics major. I'm optimistic. I'm very excited, yeah. Pretty excited. I want to meet a nice boy and do 36 questions. I'm pretty excited, like I just, I really want to meet the person. So I just want to try it out, see how it works out. Um, maybe see if I can connect with someone with these questions. Hi. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you. I'm Jordan. Handshake. Handshake. I'm Lovelyne. Lovely. Lovely. Cool. Nice to meet you. Hi, How are you doing? Oh, thank you. Uh, hi. Nice to meet you. Andrew. Justin. Nice to meet you. Cool. Great. Okay. Nice to meet you. Cool eyes. Blue. Are they contacts? Yeah. Given the choice of anyone in the world, whom would you want as a dinner guest? Albert Einstein. Just because I'm a student of physics. I would ask Jimmy Fallon to be my dinner guest. This is gonna be such a corny answer, but my mom, my mom is super cool. She's really wise, and uh, I always appreciate things that she has to say. Maybe Conan. Yeah. I feel like he's not that intimidating, and we could really go like punch for punch. <laughs> have a great dinner dialogue. Would you like to be famous, and in what way? Probably a successful businessman, so I can be invited to lots of parties and be well known for my success, not for scandals. If I'm actually going to be famous, I want to be famous in like a terrible reality star kind of way. Okay. I think that'd be funny. I'd want to be one of those famous people that's just like always going to be famous, but like I hate being famous. <laughs> and so whenever someone says something about me in the news, I just respond with like, Oh, I can't hear you all over all this money. <laughs> but I'm just still famous. When did you last sing to yourself or to someone else? Today, actually. Uh, I sing a lot. I'm not very good at it, but I like writing music and playing for my roommates and stuff. I sing Hotline Bling to my roommate <laughs> every morning. Probably like this morning or something. Really? Yeah. Oh. I would, when I'm alone, I, I sing to myself. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I was actually, before I came here, <laughs> I was singing um, to Justin Bieber's new song, Sorry. Have you heard it? Maybe. Well, now you will. So it's okay. really good. It's, really, it's a really good song. <laughs> um, and the music video is awesome, too. Alternate sharing something you consider a positive characteristic of your partner. Your taste in music and literature seems very, very nice, very attractive, I guess. <laughs> You're sort of understated as a, like the way that you have been talking so far, which is like a nice quality. You know, it's like, it's, it's like an elegant way to be. Thank you. All right. You value the importance of, of, of memories, which I think is really cool because people often, you know, they have experiences and they forget about them and they don't realize that, you know, just replaying memories in your mind is, is super powerful. And I think it's kind of cool that you, you're studying uh, cognitive material science or some, um, biology. Mm -hmm. um, so you're studying that, but you still have like the other interest in comedy, which is, it's, it's like, I don't, I don't really hear about it much, you know. Not a lot of people, it's like, oh, I'm in comedy, I'm into comedy. Uh, but it's really cool that you're um, pursuing that, want to be a writer, and you're doing that in college. Uh, thank good. you. It's good for you. That means a lot to me. <laughs> I like how you have a soft heart despite everything. I like how you just don't have like a mean bone in your body. Like you don't, you can't even conceptualize what mean is. Uh, my mean bone's right here. You, oh my god, you <laughs> literally don't know what being mean is. this sentence. I wish I had someone with whom I could share. Maybe Sundays. Just Sundays? Just Sundays. Do you mean like Sundays like the day or ice cream? <laughs> They're not mutually exclusive. I don't know. 
like we were talking about before, maybe someone who will like fucking walk down college with me on Sunday when I have nothing <laughs> else to do. Sundays. Sundays. Yeah. That's cool. I wish I had someone who would go stargazing with me because I go stargazing all the time and nobody else likes space like I do. <laughs> I think that I learned a lot about him and we actually have similar viewpoints and certain things like friendship and like family and that was really cool even though we came from different walks of life so that was awesome. <laughs> it's like each question I learned a little bit more about her and it's like deeper complexities about her life and um, yeah I think it's I treat her the same way as I treat one of my best friends maybe because it's just I've learned about her in that deep of a level. I definitely feel felt a lot um, uh, um, stronger connection after having gone through the 36 questions. I was surprised at how comfortable I felt doing that. I got to see him really fleshed out, which was cool. It was stressful. Some of them were really hard to answer, like what's your saddest memory or something like that. And that's something just like I don't think about all the time so it's hard to articulate it to somebody who's like trying to get to know me it was really personal uh there's like there's a lot of trust that goes into you know telling telling another person that kind of stuff and you know having somebody else tell you really personal things you know you have to uh, you know let them know that that you they can trust you too yeah